hey y'all, let's talk about how to create a custom Google Classroom header. So a few things to note about this. The header only appears on the stream. Um, there's usually some kind of default that you get that's usually graphical, but a lot of teachers like to add their own flair. Plus, this really helps students when they're looking at those class cards with all of their classes to help differentiate between their classes. So you can use the themes that are actually built into Google Classroom, or you can upload your own photo. You may notice that mine looks pretty gray, and that's the default. So when you upload an image, mine actually happened to be white. It puts this kind of gray shadowy layer to it, which makes this more legible. A lot of teachers don't like this because it kind of defeats the purpose of spending all that time creating this. So just keep that in mind. The other thing to keep in mind is that this will shrink and grow based on the size of the device. So on a phone, you may not even see all of this logo. But here on a big desktop, you're going to see the whole thing nice, big and bright. But it's going to look different on different devices, which is why a lot of these themes are very basic with maybe like one-sided um, kind of pictures or even the um, patterns that we've had really more so when it first began. So that's the reason behind it. So to create your own header, go ahead and use Google Drawings. Go to drawings.google.com. You will open up a brand new drawing and then go to file page setup. From here, you're going to click the drop down, choose custom, and we're going to change it from inches to pixels and I usually do around a thousand by 400. You can play with this. There is not a perfect size but this one is typically the one that's been working for me recently. Now to change this from a transparent background which is what you see with these little checkered marks and actually give it a color we're going to right click and go to background. I'm just going to make mine white just to show you how simple this is. And then I'm going to drag my logo onto the page. Now, I'm not going to make it this big. I'm going to keep it small and in the center or maybe on the side. And boom, use my crosshairs. Now, all I have to do is file, download. Um, typically for this style graphic, a PNG is perfect. Get that PNG file saved and come back to Google Classroom, upload a photo and then click and drag that photo to upload it. And it'll let you kind of, you know, move this around if it's off a little bit and then click select. And there it is. So that one was slightly different than the, the original version. You could see it changed there, but that's the general idea. So you can go create these. Better yet, you can show students how to create. You could even make this like a little competition for students to create the headers for your class. I hope you like this tip. If you do, ring the bell and subscribe so that you get notified when new videos come out each week.